I never know. I know I say that every time. Hi, guys. Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> My computer's slow today. Hello. We're live, folks. Hey, 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 Stacey. Excited for Llama. Waiting to see your face and the Llama for days. I know. You weren't tired of me last week, you guys. You saw a lot of me. You painted three times last week. That was loco. Thanks, Cassie. Good to see you. Julia says hello. Dan comes with the coffee, saving the day. He's mad that I just said it. <laughs> uh, is this cute white girl again? <laughs> uh, who else we got? Um, Tasty Tulip. You guys, we're going to be um, freestyling a little bit today. Okay? We're going to make cool llamas. Everyone's llama is going to be different. Do you want to paint like a bow tie on your llama? Do you want to paint a hat on your llama? Like, I'll teach you how to do little things. Hi, Shoto. I'm doing great. How are you? So much purple. Is that the plan today? I like that. Yeah, you guys, pick whatever color you want. I also have like all the other llamas here too. You're depressed, Shoto. You're supposed to come here and enjoy painting. Get your mind off of things for a little bit. Let's see, is this where I see? There's a couple others. Rosie! Thanks, Rain. Rosie's here, you guys. Rosie's painting a llama. I am also aware that Rosie's mom's favorite animal is llamas. Hello, mystified pair. Look at all these familiar faces. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yay, Rosie! Let's do it. My hair is like almost still wet. I was running behind today, guys. I didn't think I was going to make it. But we're here. A bunch of you beat me again, as usual. Oh, sorry to hear. Yes, rest in peace for sure. That is hard. That is always hard. What else? How are we doing with everything else, everybody? Are we like, a lot of you have been sending me pictures of your YouTube videos. Uh, or not videos, paintings from the YouTube videos. And I love to see that. Um, yes, like Cassie said, love and lots of positive vibes. Exactly. Thanks, guys. There's a lot of support in the comments today. Um, <laughs> my coffee's steaming up my glasses. I know lots of you want to recreate a lot of my paintings, that we've enjoyed doing a lot of my original paintings, but like 95% of my paintings are portraits, and I ain't gonna put you guys through doing portraits, okay? That's just not a good time for anyone. Um, uh, but I've been liking these animals. We're gonna do a couple more animals here and there. We had some of my like ocean, there's like a puffer fish that we can do, which could be fun, like a whale or a turtle. And I'm thinking like maybe some like, and I know some of you have done the cactus one before. It was before I started uh, recording them on YouTube, but cactus are very fun. Um, the elephant. The elephant, I could maybe teach it. Yeah, maybe the elephant. Maybe a different type of an elephant picture. Have ever drawn myself? Funny that you say that. I literally have. Let's see if it will get in the screen. Right there. Oh, over here. Oh my gosh, over here. There's me. I'll just bring it closer. That's just a little help. I have uh, a pug, Julia. Oh yeah, French bulldog somebody else said too. And that's a good one too. Can I just stand over here and show you? This is my, my self portrait that I drew, I painted this year for my birthday. I've decided now I'm gonna do a self portrait every year. Does this look like me? Oh my god, I hit the thing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Finally got some paint. Oh my gosh, Lisa made it. No problem. 
No problem at all. I'm glad you guys are all liking them. They're so much fun for me too. Oh my gosh, CJ, thanks for the sharing of the broadcast. Me tuned in, new paints, ready to party. Three to the party, guys, that's excited. Exciting. Oh, I looked at the wrong camera. Um, who did it better, Tay or Adam with Tay Rex? That's another good question, you guys. Um, Tay Rex is up here. Oh, that's, I wish I could zoom. It's a struggle for me to get up there, but guys, that's, that's Tay Rex and it's the best. <laughs> it's my second piece of fan art. Rosie, shout out to you because you're out there. You sent me the, my first piece of fan art ever. Um, thanks guys. Thanks. That was just a trip down Taylor Lane for a second there. Um, uh, you can, I don't know if you can take a, I don't know if you can get rid of the check. Can you get rid of the check guys? Sorry. I should know that, but I don't. Hi Rosie says Valerie. Thanks for sharing my broadcast. You guys. Um, if you're on like a computer, you could make your browser like bigger and make it go underneath. Oh, there's a full screen option. There we go. Okay. I usually wait. Yeah. Everyone's saying full screen or turn your phone sideways. There we go. So excited. There's a lot of regulars today with a couple new faces. That's exciting. Um, I guess I'll go over my regular spiel, um, to start. Literally, it's uh, any skill level. I go from right from the basics, and um, the further along we go, you can decide how much detail you want to go or how uh, advanced or skilled you want to take it. Um, I always suggest, for some people, would rather start with a pencil. There's nothing wrong with grabbing a pencil. Um, <clears throat> Uh, or starting with a pencil, just don't press too hard. I would suggest to go very lightly because if you press really hard, your graphite will like dust and it'll become like it'll mix with your paints and it'll get muddy and you will get frustrated. You advertised me the other day on my stream because I'm cool. A uh, thank you, John Wick. Appreciated. Holler at John Wick too, you guys. Thanks. Um. So we'll be doing the basic shapes. Uh, I'll be putting up shapes on the top there. Uh, as I was saying before, we're not going to be, I'm gonna be drawing the base of the llama on the right. I'll take these off for now. But I want you guys to do whatever you want. Use any colors you want, add any flair you want, add any fate, like whatever you want. I was just showing those other ones so you have ideas. Like put a bow tie on him, whatever. I think it'd be cool for you guys to do anything. So we're obviously gonna start with our outline, our good old handy dandy, oh, that's the wrong outline. This one, isn't that hilarious, you guys? That's the drawing outline of the llama. I made his ears pointy because llama's like, on this one, his ears to the side, and it's not as like llama looking, I feel like. Um, are the shapes hard or easy? What do you say, Where where's the group consensus here? Are we happy about the shapes or not? Easy, exactly. <laughs> guys, look how easy this little llama is. Um, I break it down to the basics, uh, and then we'll go from there. I also personally like to work dark to light. Um, I use a lot of white. So if you don't have lots of white, know from the beginning that, um, that's what I'm doing, working dark to light. Uh, because when you run out of white, there's no replacement for it at all. So just maybe not go as dark as I suggest, but send me a line, ask any questions you need. We'll go from there. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Is that like it guys? Is that it? That's all? You plan to join one day, see it happen with me and paint. There's a lot of first timers here. Am I right guys? Or a lot of people who started coming to the paint nights, it was their first time ever. And a lot of people have been enjoying it. Okay. So I'm going to slowly get some stuff out. We're going to start with a little paintbrush or a pencil. Right, guys? And that's funny. See, I'm more of a painter, not a tattooist. And people think that I could tattoo because I paint and draw. But no, no, we are not the same, right? <laughs> okay, just because... Um... We'll kind of do the picture that I have shown over here. I'm going to use crazy colors. I'm not going to make them natural colored. And again, I really want you guys to do whatever color you want. 
But I'm just starting with blue, the base color blue. So if you imagine, you look at this guy and you see how his face is white. White is my final color, but I want all of his underneath to be a tinge of blue to add some fun in there. So like where it looks dark gray, it's gonna be blue. Does that make sense? And I've talked about it on other streams before that ideally you could paint the whole background one solid color. Um, and then you could start painting on top of it. The reason I don't teach that in these classes is that some qualities of paint can't do that. They can't go uh, opaquely on top of other colors. So I don't want people to just, for me to screw you over before you even start, right? So I do it this way. Um, I personally like to draw the full background last anyway. So no stress about that. I'm starting with blue, guys. I'm using like an aqua -y -y blue. These drawings created from your imagination or you look at stuff. Um, a mixture of both, but I have to look at a picture to make it happen, if that makes sense. So I imagine an idea and then I look for reference photos and I piece them together to make one image, if that makes sense. Okay, everybody, it is 12 after 8. I'm a couple minutes late to the usual time start, but we're going to dip our um, paintbrushes into the water because our water's our friend and we always want our paintbrush to be wet. And we're gonna drip a bunch of water onto our palette, just like using your paintbrush as a scoop. And sorry, I'm a broken record, but you're gonna spin that paint in that water until it is like a chocolate milky consistency, okay? Um, we want it nice and thin with more water than pigment because this is just our outline. We're just gonna be drawing these funny little shapes that I've placed down here uh, to lay out where we're gonna start playing with color. Um, if you have pencil, it's we're doing exactly the same thing minus the water, okay? So you're gonna look at your canvas and look and imagine the whole space that you wanna fill up for this little llama. Um, and imagine that you have to put ears on the top. Like, don't forget where his ears are because it's very common for people to draw it way too high and then he has to have little stubby ears. But llamas have like cute long ears, right? So we're just gonna make a rectangle. And the rectangle, isn't there not two, isn't there two L's in llama? Guys, is there not two L's in llama? Did I not put two L's in llama? I'm stressed out. Oh, my title didn't have it. Oh, down here it says it. I, uh, that's a typo. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> I just read it down there and I was like, it's fine. It's right. Okay. Whoo, guys. Sorry. Back to the conversation of llamas. Llama Del Rey. Um, we are going to start with a line as to the top of our llama's head. In this picture with his crazy hair, it's like right at his hairline. Okay. Where did I draw a line? The width of his neck. Look how easy. I don't want you to treat your painting very precious. Don't be scared to ruin it. And don't be scared if your painting doesn't look like mine or the drawing on there. Halfway through, I am going to show you where everyone else is at. And a lot of people tell me they like that part because then everyone knows that we're all painting llamas that look different. They're not supposed to look the same, okay? I don't want anyone to get frustrated and to quit because that happens all the time. All right, we got our first line. And then look what, I'm just gonna go straight down, straight down. Did I even center this rectangle? I don't know, let's check it out. But remember, look at how watery. I don't know if it'll zoom in close enough. See how there's hardly any pigment in there? There's way more water. It's even dripping a little bit. It's gonna dry super light. You don't want chunky chunks of paint, like thick paint on there, because it'll dry hard and you won't be able to cover it. If that makes sense. But guys, our llamas are like a third of the way done already, just because of this little rectangle. Okay? Easy. Okay. Now his ears. They're just tall. You're gonna go all the way up to as high as you can on your canvas. I need to put this up a little bit more. Right this way. 
You can even curve them in at the top a little bit if you want. Remember, if these drawings aren't perfect, it's not the end of the world, because this is just a base outline to start with, the foundation. You want to start with a good foundation, right? And then you basically just bring those ears right in. And round them up at the top a little bit, I'll bring it closer. So if it curved in a bit, cap off at the top and bring them down. In the picture I made, they're pretty curved. You can do that too if you want. You can make them really curved. If you're not happy with a line, it's super easy with a paper towel or a old microfiber cloth or a t-shirt or anything. If you just dip it wet, you can literally, if you're on canvas, if you're using this on paper, you can't do this, but if you're on canvas and it's still wet, you can wipe it away just like erasers. Okay. I think I did see, sorry, also rain. I think I saw that Rosie's mom had to take a call so she couldn't keep us fully, fully updated on Rosie's videos, but knows that Rosie's here. So we'll all see her final for sure. Okay. Ready? You're gonna come a little ways down. You're gonna imagine he has a forehead. Okay, yeah, Valerie says, hey. Okay. Um, and we are going to do a circle. And see, for me to make a perfect circle, I go around a couple times until it's right. And if your paintbrush doesn't seem to be pulling the paint very nicely, like I'll do... Don't copy what I'm doing. I'm just going to try to show you something. So... If your brush is dry, it'll give this like, I don't know, I always call it the sandpapery look to it. I don't know if you can see there. And that just means there's not enough water on your brush unless you want that look. But if your paint brush isn't pulling nicer, I mean, if your paint isn't pulling nicely, you add a little bit more water on there and look at the smooth line you can make, right? Which is full solid from the start to finish. But I know a lot of people have trouble pulling a line for a long time, and that just means that there's not enough water on there. Okay, go away. Oops, my rag's dirty. They're all dirty, who am I kidding, but... Okay, do we all have, like, what does this look like? Like a doorknob, almost. It's gonna be a llama, you guys. I promise. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I just did those shapes different colors so that you could see them here on the side. What do you want to do? Do you want to do the nose? The nose is a heart. Should we do the nose first? That's kind of cute. Or eyeballs. What you feeling? Sorry guys, we're all painting and I ask you questions and make you <laughs> jump in. We're gonna do a heart nose. <sighs> okay. So, you see this circle that we've made? I might have made it a little high. Eh, that's okay. So I don't know the easiest way to teach a heart, so we're gonna try our best together here, okay? So we're gonna go at the top of your circle. And you are going to curve it around until you reach the same point underneath it. If it helps to make a dot right here before you do that line, go for it. I went over a couple ways of how to teach the nose, and I thought a heart would be the most fun. Oh, did I start? Oh, I didn't start time-lapsing a little plumma. All right. And same thing on this side. Oh, I'm drawing it from the side, so he's kind of a mess. Boop. Some other inspiration for paint nights. People have been saying a sloth. A sloth would be good. It's 
So cute, right? I know. <laughs> I thought a lot would be fun. Uh, thanks for the props. A little heart nose. Oh, we got a couple people loving sloths. So I think if I, I painted a sloth once, but yeah, we should do a sloth. Looks like the crowd says yes to sloth. Oh my gosh. And a giraffe. Okay. Okay, cool. Sloth, giraffe, French bulldog are our next three animals, maybe. Should we do that? That works. Okay. Oh my god, people are freaking out about sloth. Oh yeah, T-Rex though. I've also got many requests for us to do a T-Rex, but like, how do I teach somebody else's masterpiece? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, okay. We're just gonna draw a line down from our cutie little heart nose. <clears throat> okay, we got a couple seeds so with giraffes and sloths are pumped. See, nobody cares. Maybe it's just me who likes the French bulldog. I'm just throwing my interests on you guys. <laughs> okay. We've got a line down. We'll see. Okay, other people like Frenchies too. Okay, okay. Okay, so we made that line, right? And we're just going to go from the outside of the circle down. What's everyone got for a paint night drink, says Justin. We got popcorn, we got some tea and ginger snaps, homemade. Diet Pepsi. Justin's got popcorn. Oh, Svengali, also hello. I just saw you there. Sour beer, oh, I'm just back to the coffee, you guys, back to the coffee. Okay, we're making another lineup. You guys are probably like, okay, we'll just get the outline down and just chat. And Root beer and Oreos for Julia. Nice, Jay. Okay. And then we're going to make a weird little oval right here because llamas have this funny little nose bump. Wine for mama. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. And the eyes are kind of the best part, you guys, because for a llama... The, they're a pretty big deal, you know. Eyes are a pretty big deal. So, take a deep breath, a big breath, a deep breath. I think I tried to say both those words at the same time. And you are going to go just right above his heart eye here. Uh, or heart eye, his heart nose. To draw the eye. And we are going to make just... A circle Oops. right touching the outside okay it's important that it touches the outside line you made okay because realistically what we've drawn this is his neck the neck is the skinniest part and we're gonna puff out his face a little bit okay so we want his eyes to be right on the side look how cute this thing is already I'm into it Sour beer and Eau Claire spruce berry smash drinks. Wow. Who's a bartender over there? Um, one thing I was going to say, I forgot I missed a comment there about Adam's phone. So you guys, I when Adam painted the T-Rex, Stacy sent it to me and I asked, should I tag Adam? And she said, Adam doesn't have Instagram. This is what his phone is. And it's, can you guys, well, I know you have to go far to type, but it's like a, so like a Nokia, I like asked how long does the battery last and that I couldn't, it blew my mind. He has to still text in T9. That's crazy to me. <laughs> okay, how's our llama? It's an LG brick phone. Yes, you guys, it was, it blew my mind. Look at that. Look at right beside here. Isn't these outlines looking almost, I think the ones we're painting is cuter even than the one I did digitally down there. Okay, what am I missing here? I feel like I need to look at like a real llama. It's, no, he's good, he's good, he's good. But yeah, it blows my mind that that is his phone, like good. And his bill was like 20 bucks a month or something, like, good on you dude, blows my mind. 
Okay, we're gonna make some funny little beans, all right? You think your eyes are too big? Never. I personally don't think there could be too big of an eye because for a llama, the bigger the cuter. But we'll see, okay? I'll show you this next step and uh, you can watch do it first, me do it first and then feel it out if you think you need to make your eyes smaller. So we're just gonna do these little beans we are talking about, right? And it's basically, do you remember when we did the bunny, you guys? Um, sorry if some of you don't, <laughs> I mean, weren't here. But we are gonna basically outline, we're, oh, how do I show you without covering it? So we are gonna outline the top of his eye and right out the bottom, we're gonna do a little flick because that's gonna be the bottom of our bean, all right? And then you're just gonna add that and you're gonna put a full bean on top of his eye. You want a rock star llama, like with the hair that I painted on this little guy? The hair is the best part. The series that I did was llamas with crazy hair, and I think I did four or five of them. And uh, they were my favorites. I don't know what made me, what I, why I stopped. I don't even remember. This was 2013, you guys. It's crazy. Okay. And then at the bottom, it's kind of the same idea. You're going to just trace the bottom of his eye, come up to the bo to the top where you made the first bean. You're just going to make a bottom eyelid. Whoop. Which is basically another bean. That's the best thing for me to describe it as. Like a kidney bean? I don't know. Don't worry, we're gonna paint over a lot of this. He looks a little harsh now, but he'll be good. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side, right? You paint it down, you bring the bean up. I'm still using that really watery paint. My paintbrush is still really watery. It's okay if your is way lighter than this. I do it this dark so that you guys can see it, but it can be lighter. It's okay if it's not, but it can be. Okay. Yours is darker, that's fine. Doesn't make a difference. Okay. So remember how I said that our llama is actually, his head will be a little bit bigger. The rectangle that we made is his neck. So we are just gonna make some cup in. Oops, wow, that's a bad line. You are just gonna make a line from the bottom of his eyes to the bottom of his little circle. You just added a shadow chin. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, because he does. He does, like, they have little funny necks like this. You give him, like, a little butt. <laughs> and this is all to remember where we're going to be painting his uh, furs. Just a little butt chin for now. Okay. Does it look like a llama, you guys? Okay, yours doesn't look like a llama. You always stress out, Tay Tay, and you're usually on the right track, so I don't know if I believe you yet. With a little budget. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to take the color that you want the base of your llama to be. And you're gonna take or a medium sized brush, realistically, um, just bigger than what you used before for the outline. Sorry, my brain's like everywhere today, <laughs> apparently. So we are gonna ignore what I told you before about the watery paint. We're gonna go back to a thicker paint. So more paint than water on your brush, but you still wanna kind of work your paintbrush in there load it up with paint, I guess is the best way to say it. And you are gonna start making some fluff on this little 
Llama. Again, if I'm going too fast, let me know. Whatever color the base of your pang of the base of your flamingo. Uh, I just called it a penguin and then a flamingo. Whatever the base color of your llama is gonna be. We've got a purple one out there. This one's blue. Whatever color I was using the outline as. And so be conscious of your brush strokes because you're like literally painting on its fur patterns. So come from the inside out and make some little fluffers. And same over here. You can do thin, thick, you can do whatever you want. We're just trying to fill up this space and add some texture. So the brush strokes, just because you're using a bigger paintbrush, it will be thicker already in the first place than what you were doing before. But again, I'm not treating it very preciously. I'm just throwing some paint around. Which I think is one of the best parts, just throw it around. We can even splatter some paint down now. Remember his face is a little chubbier than his neck, which is fine. So we'll bring out his, oh, see, so look like, oops, that's a big sloppy fur. So you just kind of wipe that out there. Okay. I'm going a tiny bit lighter over his little butt chin so I don't lose it. <laughs> and when I say going lighter, that just means that after I've used all the paint that is loaded um, on my paintbrush, you see it starts getting a little bit more like liquidy or more translucent. He looks like Homer Simpson. That is so funny. The best part about the llama's eyes is the eyelashes. That's what like make them the best. <laughs> Um, but like I was saying, sorry, with the lighter brush, which means there's less paint on my brush and I'm kind of dry brushing it in that spot. So it kind of blends in, but you can still see the definite, um, shape change there. Okay. We are going to do the same with his little ear. Remember, we work from dark to light, so I'm putting down the dark color, and then we're going to start ordering, adding white to whatever color you've chose at the bottom, and we'll start putting extra texture on top. It's okay, I haven't done anything different. So if you're not at the exact same spot as me, it's not a big deal. I'll just finish coloring him in. You're just coloring in the whole spot. And then I'll be able to answer questions while you guys catch up. But I'm just filling that stuff all in. Yeah, does anyone else have any other questions? See, with that dry brush, I can just fill in his nose very lightly. That's a cute llama, isn't it? So cute. I guess no questions. That's cool. That's cool. I see some Instagrams as you guys are sending me some pictures here. Ooh, we've got a black background and I like it already. Okay, here we go. Let me just bring this. Ah. That's weird. Okay. Look at that one. I like the black background. Looks great. Ooh, look at all these different colored background ones already. Okay, guys. <laughs> Important. That's Adam's phone. <laughs> Forever encapsulated. In, in cap, encapsulated? Is that how you say it? 
in uh, in this YouTube video forever. Oh, Rosie! I can't see your picture yet because it's just a video. I'll show yours soon. And then what else do we have down here? Oh, getting ready for Tuesday. Nice. I love seeing all your guys' posts. Getting ready. Okay, okay. That's it for now, actually. We'll just... Those two llamas were looking great. I think we can take off the outline. Oh, that's the wrong one. And here we go. Oh, hi, Rosie, says Justin. Yeah, it still runs, you guys. That's his phone. That's his real phone. Okay. Oh, wow. My, f my f computer is not showing a lot of the videos. More support for Tay. Good stuff. Dresden. Uh, thank you. It's only a two-year-old phone. What? Like, look at us. We're so uneducated in anything but smartphones. <laughs> Just feel so old. Okay, look at these cutie llamas. How's the filling in going? Should we chill for a little bit? What do you think? Because we are gonna go. It's gonna feel weird, but we're gonna do some dark stuff now. Oh, thanks for the potion. You need a few more minutes. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, what else can we talk about, guys? The Saturday live stream was interesting. I can't paint during the day, so I can't teach you guys how to paint during the day, I've decided. I'm sorry that they won't happen. <laughs> Maybe once a month I'll do a weekend one. <laughs> um, this is just, this is my comfortable time. Uh, what else do we got? Anyone have any general art questions? Yeah. Anyone? Your King Panda is the talk of the apartment. Look at that. Heck yeah. Anyone who hasn't done the King Panda, you should for sure go back um, to my YouTube channel. Same as here, Tatesky. Same old same. They're all going to be on there. Um, and do the King Panda because all the results were so good. And actually, it's funny because he's still on my wall. So that's the panda that was inspired, that that inspired that paint night. You're having so much fun already? Lisa, heck yeah. If I could work on any animated show, what would it be? Oh, so it's not really a show. I'm just like a Pixar gal. And I graduated kind of thinking I was going to work for Pixar. That, like, that was my dream to be a character designer at Pixar. That hasn't been, that dream hasn't gone forever. <laughs> but, um, when we think of movies, oh my God, like The Simpsons would be epic for my childhood, Tay. Um, how long have I been painting for? You're new here, no worries. Uh, my whole life, <laughs> that's hard to answer. I've been painting literally my whole life. Um, it's just with something that I, always picked up and like to do uh but for a full-time job it's been almost six years now i went to art college here in um calgary acad it was called acad at the time and uh, since i graduated i've been full-time doing commissions and selling prints and illustrating children's books and like anything art related that i can find i just grab yeah calgary squad 100 percent uh, thanks for the grad cap. Yeah, it was just pointed out to me that it's been six years, and that's crazy. And we've just started these paint nights. Like, in the last year, I've been doing a paint night a week, and then I added two so that... Not the yeah, last year, that's a lie. The last, like, five months. I don't know why I said year. Um, the last five months, I've been doing paint nights at least once a week. And uh, now, since quarantine's around and we're all home and... People want to try new hobbies. Um, I thought let's paint night because it's fun for me too. Okay. All right, folks, we're taking out black and it's going to seem crazy and scary, but we're doing it. Okay. Just a little bit. You don't need much on your palette. You don't want to waste it. Black goes a long way. Where is my black though? Oh. It goes a very long way. So just use a little touch and then you can keep adding more versus taking too much out and then wasting paint because I do that all the time. 
<laughs> so I'm just trying to teach you guys good habits before you get bad habits like me already. Okay, so we got black. And we're gonna go back to that little paint brush that we were using before, right? Just a little skinny guy. And I'm gonna go back to doing one of, is it Cassie, is it you? This is your favorite part of the day, my outline demonstration. It's gonna feel early for it. <laughs> so we're gonna do that same old thing. We're gonna get that water in our, whatever it's called, in your cup or whatever you're using. Bring some water down to your paint and make sure that it's nice and watery. More water than paint on your paintbrush. And I'm just trying to show you the importance of paintbrush pressure, okay? Young or old, I don't know, what's the best way for me to hold this? For you to see, I always forget. Maybe like this. Um, new or uh, not to art, uh, young or old, this is like an important skill that will help you in any painting that you do. So if you can see, let me see, will you see it right there? If I use, touch very lightly on my canvas, I'm using just the tip of my paintbrush, and it's a nice small line, right? See that? And you saw how I was using just the tip of my paintbrush? But if I, pre and pressing very, not very hard, but if I press very hard, you can see from there that I'm using the entire width of the paintbrush, and it will fill the full surface area. So, say the same thing as always. These two lines, like these two lines, like these two lines, <laughs> are painted by the same paintbrush, but it's just pressure, like pressing lightly and pressing hard. Pressure, what did I say? Pressure? Pressure? Under pressure. Okay, so that's important to remember, okay? So if you wanna do that nice little line, pressure is key. So, we're gonna start by, are your paintings dry? Should I ask that first? Where are you selling your cards? So I haven't, they're gonna be local in Calgary at uh, a grocery store called Bite. Um, or I will probably have a couple on my Etsy too. I haven't got them yet though, they're at the printers. Okay. So, remember, dry-ish. Okay. So I'm gonna do one part that it's okay if you have to wait a little bit, just as long as it's dry around your eyeballs. We are literally just gonna color that eyeball in black. Yep. If you don't have white, you can leave a little, I probably should have left that for people who don't have white. Um, That's the only thing, if people don't have white or if you're working in watercolor or like pencil crayon, you can't really paint white over top of anything, right? So you can like leave a white mark there. Something like that, like as a reflection. But if you have white, we can just paint that over top after. I'm gonna paint these two little eyes black. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I didn't leave the spot for you. Someone might want to cover this with alpaca hair anyway. Who knows? Alpaca? Is there a difference between an alpaca and a llama? You guys, anyone know that? Yes, alpacas are extra cute. Okay, okay, okay. Other than the name, I don't know. See, that was me too. But I guess their cuteness level is also very important. Okay, this is exactly what we were doing before um, when I was saying how you just trace the eye. And when you come out the bottom, you flip it up. Boop. Actually, maybe let's not flip it up because then it might make look some people's might look mean. This is the first non-gaming channel you've ever seen here. Big fella, well, welcome to the art stream. We are together. There's a bunch of people at home and we're painting this llama together. It's pretty cool. Welcome. Llamas spit and have banana ears. Alpacas are fluffier and have round ears on top. Am I painting an alpaca? Oh, so what is this, guys? Is this in the middle? They're kind of banana and they're kind of straight. So I don't know. 
what we're playing with here. We're playing with fire. Okay, same with this eyeball. I kind of made him cross-eyed, but that's okay. You trace the top of the eye, and then you just come down. Like a liger. Alpaca llama. <laughs> yeah. Okay, do you have those little eyeballs? Don't worry, we're literally gonna do um, what you call them, eyelashes in here, and it's gonna be the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Just so you know, be ready for it. Because we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom of his eyelid, you're just gonna trace it. Whoop. And same on this side, just trace that eye with a little lip on the front. So it's okay if they have big eyes right now. No worries at all. You can even curl this part if you want, because they have onto his little bean. Can you guys hear the alarm of the sirens? Yeah, Justin, okay, everybody in the comments, he's naming colors. What color is yours? Put a, click the little arrow. Where's mine? Mine's blue, upvote that. Purple, gray, what color is your llama? We've got a couple blue, we got a teal. Oh, four purple, there are four purple llamas out there, you guys. I'm sorry to see them. Purple and blue for Julia. We got a pink one. Ooh, a pink one. I should have made mine pink. Teal and Adam's green. We got blue red. We got bluish silver. It's gonna be a cute tribe of little alpaca. I mean, llamas. I just called it alpaca again. Okay. Are we ready to move on a little bit? We are going to, it's gonna feel weird, okay? But we are going to do a U at the bottom of our heart, okay? It's like he has a septum, like me. T-Rex, 100%. <laughs> So just it has a septum, a septum piercing. Everybody has a septum. My brain's just today. This is how we make these funny little noses. You can just, if you want, you can leave the nose as just a heart, okay? Um, if you don't, if you want to give it a little bit more realism to it, um, that's what we're doing now, okay? Um, this one's cool. Oh, thanks, Fingerly. I think he's so cute. He's actually more simple than people think. That's the best part. Okay, so we've got that little septum. We got a little U there. And then we're going to go the opposite way. Boop. And make a bump. Boop. How's that feeling? And then pretend like you're following up the heart you drew again on the other side. Oops, I made that a little small. That makes sense to go a little fast on that one. Like a fancy mustache, it does. Swirly. <laughs> he already makes me laugh. <laughs> Is it weird that we're kind of doing outline like before we even really paint it? No. Oh wow, it's already 850? What in tarnation? Okay. So we are just gonna color in the top line here. 
Right? He's calling me from a French company. <laughs> Hello. I know, the crazy hair is the best part. The reason that I, like, originally in this painting that you see here, I didn't draw his eye, obviously. I just went right for the hair. But I thought it would be best to teach how to draw the whole thing. And then you can decide to, like, add the hair and stuff on. Because we'll bring the hair up, like, like this. And it can go over his eye. Or you can give him a mohawk. Or you can just give him, like, a tiny tuft. Or you can put, like, a little, like... This will be funny. I'll wipe it off after. But, like... Someone could give him like a little top hat, like, um, that's hilarious. Or like a sombrero. How do you draw a sombrero? I don't even know, like that. Like that would be hilarious. <laughs> so, so that's why I thought we would teach the whole, I would just teach how to do a llama and then you just go for it. If you want him to be realistic, you would paint him gray at the bottom. Um, or like a brown, a nurse cap, a toque. You can give him, to make him relevant, you can give him like a face mask too. Look at that guy. A quarantine mask, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so we have at the bottom of our little mouthy, right? There's kind of a point, right? We come to the bottom of a point and we only made that line for a, like a, the first little spot. And I know it seems weird that I didn't continue and if you continue all the way, it's okay. But you are going to go right about another, the same amount of distance you went where you colored it in, down. And you're going to match up with like a U shape. So if you imagine that this is a line, you're going to make that little U to match up. Because we kind of make their mouths open a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I just made that one little line so that you guys can see what's happening there. You can actually bring it all the way over if you want. Remember, if you want the line to be thin, press very lightly on your brush. My llama's nose is ginormous, but that's okay. So are his eyes and his whole life. Okay. And then you just fill that puppy in down there. Does that make sense? Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> I made him a little wonky, but that's okay. Remember, I'm not an art teacher, so I'm just trying to break it down to how I would do it. So if I'm not making sense or teaching something right, holler at your girl, okay? I'll help you out the best that I can. Under his little lippy, you kind of just give it like a little hook. Nice little line at the bottom. Again, remember we're painting kind of over top all this stuff, so it is okay if it's a little wonky. We can fix it a bit with white after, but... Okay, you are going to come up to almost by his mouth and we're going to do a nice little bottom line for his cutie little chin. Rosie is here. Hi, Rosie. This is Daryl. Her mom, I think she said she had like a work call or something, so she can't type for her, but Rosie is here. We'll probably hear from her. Okay. And then, of course, we've got to define that little, um, what you call it, his little bum chin we made. Favorite word is cutie? You're right, my favorite word probably is cutie. Yep. Trying to think of most day-to-day. -day. Cutie, I probably say the most. Okay. 
So you're gonna kind of just follow this line with some little hairs. Follow that little butt chin line. If you can't see your butt chin line anymore, it's okay. But remember, your always brush strokes, the way that you go is always important um, because you are literally laying down his fur. So when you start at the top, you go top to bottom, top to bottom. As you go out, you wave it in the direction of the side. That makes sense. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, wow, as I hear myself say it out loud, I suck at teaching that. Little goatee. A little goatee. <laughs> I gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> it is a little goatee. <laughs> okay, and while we're doing those little fuzzy lines, we're gonna go to the top of our nose. And you're gonna do the same thing, just going up around the shape of the heart. Just at the top. Your name's Alfred. His is, you've named your llama Alfred. That's adorable. What should I name this guy? What is everyone naming their llamas? There's no going back. What do you mean? What's, is something wrong? Dwight. Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay. That makes me nervous that you say there's no going back. Like what? Is something what happened? <laughs> His mouth is very wrong. Okay, no, no, no. Send a picture in. Let me check. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure in their ears it would be colored in, right? Like we want to kind of give a little spot for where the dark sheeps go, right? Yep, yep, yep. Wow, my music's just, it's falling apart on me, guys. It's, oh, oh, I got my trackpad wet. It's just going. Oh, here's a TikTok song. No, your mouth is good. I would literally, okay, I think why you think it's off. I don't know if you want me to show her. Your llama's literally cuter than my llama. Yes, guys. That's what I didn't talk about at the start is trusting the process. That things seem weird, but it'll look good at the end, I promise. Um, the reason that we are outlining this right now is just because this is the darkest color and we want like a colorful llama. So we are just doing these, like this is the end of the black. We're done with the black. Don't you worry. Um, we are now going to go in with some other colors, um, that are going to kind of go over top the black a little bit. So the black isn't so harsh because if we did the black last, it would be very like stark and sharp edged. Does that kind of make sense? Thanks for the prop, anything. Appreciated. Um, Tasty Tulip, your law is literally cuter than mine. Um, I think his mouth's good. I don't really know. Like, we're going to add this, sh like, his, I don't know why I'm doing it to myself. Like, he has, like, a snouty kind of, right? Like, if it makes, let's see. Don't feel like you have to do this right away. But, um... This attaches together, right? He has like a cute, it bows out and he has like a cute snout, right? Like a jowl. And uh, I love how the music just keeps stopping. 
Why? Why can't you play that song? Thanks, though, for the good jibes. And then I went silent. <laughs> they keep going silent. And then like this is his like little bottom mouth, right? Like that, right? Which is like a little, does that look a little bit more llama-y? Or make some of you feel better about their mouths? And then like these white holes, you're, we're just gonna color in and then like look, that's his cute little funny nose, right? Does that look like a llama? More Emperor's New Groove approved. Heck yeah. Okay. So we are going to pull out a secondary color. Okay. Yours looks more like a blob. We're going to work it out with some other colors. No stress there. Um, let's bring out another color. So I would suggest like, okay, so us blues, I'm going to suggest like a purple. I'm going to bring out a purple. Um... If you're using like an orange, use like a red or uh, vice versa. If you're using a yellow, use an orange or uh, my Spotify is just crashing and burning as we speak. Um, if you are using gray, then you can like if you wanted just a natural colored one, I'd stick with like a gray color. I, I wouldn't go with any other ones. Um, if you're, what other colors are out there? Did they say pink? You could use purple or red or orange. Um, I would just suggest to stay in the same family. And when I say family, sorry, I'm just not looking at you guys. I'm talking. Um, when I say family, there are purples, blues, uh, greens. Those are on the cool side. And then there's like yellows, reds, and orange. Those are on the warm side. If you think like warm like the sun, right? Orange. Um, and like cold like snow. So like blue, like that type of thing. Um, it usually helps to stay in the family. But it doesn't matter. It's not a specific rule. I'm just suggesting that. So I'm personally going to use purple. And we're just using these colors in spots that are, again are going to be the darkest. Okay. We're shading with this darker color. So that's why I said if you want to do a natural colored one, you can use brown, you can use black and white, you can use whatever you wish. So I'm just going in with a medium paintbrush. The same as we did with our little blue or whatever base color you did before. We have a nice amount of paint and uh, water on our paintbrush, not more of one or the other. And there's a couple spots we're going to put this, okay? We are going to go under his cutie, like here, under his cutie chin. You can kind of, this is a time to do dry brushing, you guys. I guess now that I just told you to put a little bit of, <laughs> I just told you that you can put an equal amount of water or not. Um, actually, I lied to you. See how it's making like that scratchy kind of look? I'm kind of digging that right now. And in the middle of his ears, you can do that color. All right. How's that? And you're gonna just kind of trace around some of these shapes that we have made. See how I made a little bit of purple in his nose bump? You can add a little bit of purple in the top of his nose. Oh, yeah, an issue. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I'll just do this purple right by his nose. And then I will chill for a minute while you guys paint away. I'll see if there's anybody else's um, 
pictures they want to show. How's that coming? Okay, let's see. What are other pictures? We got a couple sent, it looks like. Oh, I see someone is talking about a testicle chin. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me get the people out, because there's a lot of you in my requests. Let me see. Oh, your outline's not too dark, Lisa. Um, I'm just going to try to find... Okay, let's see what we've got up here. Let's see, where's my Instagram picture? There we go. That one's so good! I don't get why we're saying, oof, that one's good. It literally looks exactly like my llama, I feel like. His neck's just a little bit bigger, that's all. And people saying that they're worried they went too dark first. No worries, white solves the day. Look at that purple one. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh my god, they're all so cute already, you guys. Love. Uh, testicle chin. Oh, I can't see your testicle chin because you sent it in a disappearing message. I can see it before you got to testicle chin, but that is okay. Oh, look at those little cutie colored ones. Oh my gosh. It's not a creepy bunny. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, you painted the ear on the side like the bottom one. Nice. Waiting for the hair, hey? Oh, look at him. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I only got one on that one. Let's see what's the other one. Oh, check that hair though. Oh, you got a cute floppy ear. Into it, into it. Oh my gosh, so cute. Check that little pinky one. Oh wow, it's a little to the side, hey? Let's see if I do that. You guys, they're coming along great. I love how many different colored ones there are. Am I done my coffee? Okay. So we've got that purple or whatever color you're using. And we're still just kind of going around in the places that we want a little bit darker first. So it's kind of all around the outlines that we've drawn. You can kind of circle his eyeball. I know it seems redundant that we're doing a couple of like multiple colored outlines, but that's kind of how I personally get lots of color and pop and layers in my piece um, or in my paintings is by doing that. I kind of go over the same areas with a bunch of different colors and let different ones peek through in different spots and it adds for lots of fun. And we're about to splatter everybody so get ready to get a little messy. If you want to put some paper down, go for it. Um, Paper down, newspaper, garbage bags. People were using garbage bags the other day. If you're painting flat, it's not as messy. It's more when you're painting this way and you're flicking at it, it kind of goes a little bit loco. Um, if you have a paint, a toothbrush at home that you don't need to use ever again. <laughs> um, I can teach you how to splatter with a toothbrush too. I always show both though. You can do it with a paintbrush. And I'm just gonna slob in some purple. Just kind of in the bottom, no rhyme or reason. My brush is pretty dry. I'm kind of doing a little dry oops, brush effect at the moment. Oh, wow. I That's okay. I kind of painted his face a little off. You have a dedicated shower curtain for splatter days. Look at the commitment. I love it. <laughs> that is awesome. I've just accepted it as part of my life now. Okay, is that a cute little llama? We got a couple colors going. If it looks, if your colors are mixing together, it means that your bottom one is still dry, which isn't always the end of the world. Sometimes it's nice to work wet to wet, but it will mix your colors. So if that's driving you crazy, I would suggest to um, wait till your base dries. 
Because some colors just mix a little muddy, and that's not fun, right? Okay. We have a cutie llama face. We're going to do a couple swipes of hair, and if you don't want to do hair, ignore this part, but... I'm still using my secondary color of choice. Whatever you decide that to be, I'm still using purple. Tay Tay, I, you say this every time, and it always turns out good, and I say this the same every time, so I'm sure he is great. Okay, so we are gonna start with a line, you guys. It's gonna be crazy, but we are just gonna direct where you want his hair to go, okay? Maybe even curl it a little bit over. Maybe you want to give him long flowing hair. Maybe you want to give him a hat and not the hair, so ignore all of this. Oops. But I'm going to make it go over one of his eyes because I think that's adorable. <laughs> Say, okay, so I'm just going to give it a swirl. If you want to use a thinner paintbrush, that's totally cool. We're just laying it out lightly now. And here, if you want to do a squiggly line, the rest of them are going to be squiggly when we come in for other colors, but you want to do them flat just to lay it out for you. But a squiggly line is literally just moving your wrist as you go. You want lots of water on your brush and in your paint because it'll help pull. You can't dry brush a swirly like that. You'll drive yourself loco, okay? Water is your friend. So look at this funny little dude with the funny little hair. You can make his hair completely cover up that eyeball if you want. I won't tell anybody. Okay, we're gonna splatter. Okay. You're gonna take that same paintbrush. It's okay if you're not exactly where I am because I will wait after I splatter for a bit. You're gonna do that same old, same old like we did last time. Just making that like chocolate milky concoction like we did for your first color. You do that by like dipping in and out of your water dish. Okay, and this is like a no rhyme or reason. Like we're splattering everywhere because we're gonna put white over top a lot of this stuff. So the splatter underneath the white will be like nice texture and we'll add to a nice background, yada yada, okay? You hold your paintbrush about a hand's worth, like a hangs loose worth away from the canvas, okay? And if you wanna do it the messy way, you literally just flick your canvas boop, boop, boop. and uh, I already got it in my mouth and you see how it makes nice little tufts of splatter <laughs> tufts I don't know pockets I'm not sure but also for the new people you don't have to do this at all I'm just a messy splattery painter so we have included that into the sessions but there are some people out there that don't like that um, I think it's therapeutic, so I suggest that you do it, but y'all don't have to. You do you. And if you have a paintbrush, it's relatively the same process. I keep telling myself I have to like make a little cheat sheet of all these, like what it looks like to do different things, but I keep forgetting. Um, so toothbrush, average, regular old toothbrush. I've had this for years. I've been using it to splatter paint forever. You want your concoction to be a little bit less thick than your other one just was. It's a little less thick as chocolate milk, like just regular milk or something. And you load your paintbrush up and you kind of give it a couple taps so you get some extra off. All right, you just like shoot it like a gun. And you can direct, it's a lot more easy to direct splatter in one spot, if that makes sense, with a paintbrush. Little condensed splatters. Right? Rosie's still here. Checked on her. She's doing great, guys. There's been a couple of hey Rosies that we've yelled out to her. I told them that you couldn't fully narrate today. But we appreciate Rosie stopping by anyway. You'll post a picture on Instagram. Perfect. Okay, how's our purple or whatever beautiful color we decided splatter? Hey, 
And in our picture too, like this llama has a body, right? But this was on a very long canvas and I anticipated that most people probably wouldn't. If you want to make a body, you would do exactly what we're doing here, but just bring it off to the right a little bit. Rosie is famous, you guys. <laughs> she is the most talented six-year-old I've ever seen in my life. Um, okay. It looks like you guys sent a lot of pictures in, but we're gonna keep going. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it time to just bring the white out or what? We have to add a third color in there to make it super fun. So maybe let's do that first. So we've got blue and I got purple in there. Um, if I look at the picture I was copying, there was red. I'm gonna add pink for fun. Um, if you don't have pink, you can add red or white if you're doing any, like, any other color you want, guys. Let me know if you want suggestions to help. choose a color but like for example in this one here I did purple red and yellow it looks like right which is an interesting color scheme but I have never used since actually now that I think about it if you need to change your water go for it um, sometimes mucky water mucks up your color and that's not fun so Remember how I'm like, sorry, we're going to be so redundant and like put the same colors in the same spots and you guys are just going to be like, what's going on, Taylor? Well, let's get ready to add some more colors, okay? <laughs> Should we do some hair first? Again, we're following his little, the lines that we did before. And I'm using, oh, I didn't even show you guys. We're using just a regular medium to small size brush. If you want your lines to be thin, you don't put a lot of pressure on it, right? How are these little curls? You. you want a lot of paint on your brush at this point. How's that hair, guys? I think it's so cute. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to check on a couple of your Instagrams to see. It's always nice for me to see where you guys are at. Um, so that I can tell if I'm teaching her good or not. So cute. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, guys, we're gonna bring it all together with white. Are we ready for that? Oh, so cute. I don't know if many people are doing the hair, so maybe I'm just going wild with the hair myself, but. Okay, I am just circling the under tip of his nose in this color. If your paint is wet, I would wait till it's dry, blow dry it with a fan, uh, blow dryer, fan it if it's not too liquidy wet. But again, wet on wet will muck up your colors. Okay. Some of you I see didn't bring the color straight up to the side of his mouth, like this purple that we did. Some of you didn't bring it right to his mouth, which is probably my error because of multiple of you did that and I didn't tell you. So with the secondary color, if you want, you can bring it in right there. We want it to be kind of flush to his little snout outline. But remember, we're going white over top of most of this with a translucent -y amount. So all these, a translucent -y amount. With a translucent white consistency. So we will be seeing these colors kind of pop through. They won't be as dominant as we see right now. I hope you guys are trusting the process and not like, Taylor, you jerk. <laughs> Sending us astray. <laughs> and just add a couple more swipes of this third color, wherever you want. I'm gonna do a couple more. I'm still following the direction of where 
His fur would go top to bottom. Right, right, right. Okay, do we have a crazy colorful llama at the moment? And are we ready to get into some white? Which kind of brings this cutie all together. Where is my white though? That's the question. No problem, I won't go right away. You guys keep going. I'm just gonna take my white out and we will slowly get to that point. Also, I don't know if you guys can see in the background here, I painted Billie Eilish blue and she's too blue. She looks like a dead zombie. So today I'm gonna have to repaint her face white again. <laughs> it felt right last night and today it just, She's not good. <laughs> but look, no, nothing can ruin a painting. I'm just gonna paint over top of it like it never even happened. Okay, let's look at some llamas. Why don't we do that? Let's refresh that. See what I said, Tay Tay, your painting is good. Uh, <laughs> look, that looks like a llama. Oh, we got, is it a video? Oh, look at little Rosie's llama down there. Super cute. Look at that guy, got the hair coming. Perfect. Nice, look at these funky, so I love the hair, you guys, it makes me so happy. Um, beautiful. I'm loving that everybody's going for the hair. I'm so happy. I like them all too, Justin. Thanks for the props. Ooh, look at that natural beauty. Oh, that's a good one too with that nice color. Okay, what do we got? Oh my gosh, look at that green one. You guys, they're so cute. I like that that one's like a tough on top. Wait, can I even see me? A tough on top. You can give him a little afro. You can give him, oh, look at that one too. Oh my gosh, I love them all so much. <laughs> what a great idea. Who said to do the llamas? Whose idea was that? Cause it's a great one. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that cutie too. Oh my gosh, okay guys, the white are gonna just bring all of these cutes together. Oh, I said cutie again a million times. Oh my god, I love that one too. I love how long its neck is, loving the color choice. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this person is asking about where the tie should go. So it's kind of funny. You can kind of decide how comical you want it to go. So I think it would realistically go like directly, like right under his little butt chin we've made here, his little neck jowls or whatever. But like, it could be funny if you make it super low too, like you decide, really. What are you guys saying? Where do you think a bow tie should go? Yeah, like, like I, that's what I mean. Like, I think realistically, naturally, it should go like right here, but does it go at the bottom? Who knows? Like, where would his collared shirt go? Yeah. I'm voting, I think like under the chin is probably, I don't know, I feel under the chin is the right answer, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys, the hairs! Yes! Okay, let's get going. What time is it? It's already 9.25. Ooh, let's go. Okay, let's get that white out. Good question. It depends for the bow tie. Is he going to work or is he going to the club? Does he just put it in his ear? Does he just make it a headband instead? Guys, you decide. Hi, am I asking you? The head wedding style. <laughs> hey, my bow tie's up here. <laughs> yeah. That is so funny. Okay. We're getting some white out, folks. Not white out the item, but white onto your palette, okay? We're gonna keep using a similar brush, like a medium-ish. This is kind of big, actually. 
You could probably use the same size as what we were using down here before, but we should all have a relatively dry paint on our canvas, I mean. And again, change your water if you feel like you should. Should I? Yeah. I'm just gonna... And let me know if you guys want me to teach you how to do a bow tie or a hat or whatever. Okay. We've got clean water. We've got a medium-ish brush. And at the start, if you look at the picture we're looking at, like, where are the brightest whites? They're in his nose, his little mouth, his, like, little forehead, bumpy, whatever. So with not using too much water, we're using more, like, you want your brush wet so you can dab a, a touch in your, in your little thing there and come into your uh, white paint. And we are going to, remember, always follow the direction, like brushstroke direction is important. So we are just going to fill in that cutie little heart. If your canvas is a lot smaller, I saw a lot of people had smaller canvases, use a smaller brush than this for sure. But you are just going to fill in that cutie little snout. Should we make a cutie counter? Now I'm just a bit hyper aware of what I say it. <laughs> Okay, because his nose is basically white. And same for his top forehead bump. You're going to kind of stay in the lines that you've made with those colors. But it's okay if you brush over the side of them a little bit to show like that he's fluffy. See what I mean like that? See what I'm saying? And same with his eye, you always go up and out, up and out, directions important. And if you have some hair covering over that, cool, just do a couple little white spots there and then you don't have to worry about the rest of it. How's it coming? <laughs> I think it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. We also realistically like we can make him just fatter if you want to. He doesn't have to have a face def definition, I'm realizing, but okay. We've still got that relatively thick white on our brush, but there's still water in there, because water's our friend. And we're gonna follow under his little pupil. Or pupil under his eye, his little eyelid. White. White. But see, like, the colors that we're using before are kind of popping through under the white in some of these spots. And that's kind of what adds the nice, like, what you call it. <laughs> Shoot me for saying depth again. Aww. Who knew? Thanks, Justin. They are twinning. Look at that. Okay, and now we're just kind of same technique, but we're just using white and we are going to keep following the direction in to out to make him fluffy. And you're going to come a little bit over those colors we've always done, but not all the way. We want a couple peeking through, so we're not doing full coverage. See how there's like a little bit of space in between these little hairs we're doing? And again, no rhyme or reason, you're just kind of, as long as you're going in the same direction and you're being conscious of leaving some shapes out, I mean shapes out, <clears throat> leaving some space in between your brush strokes. Dimension, that's a better word. Thanks, Stacy. You're gonna make me a Putin Uni shirt, Justin, thanks. I would love that. Okay, and if some of you are worried about your butt chin, look, we're just gonna go, see how I'm literally going directly over that black that we did already, but a little bit should pop through. See how you can see it through the white a little bit? He's so fluffy I could die. Mm, kinda looks like a unicorn. 
Okay, I just, I forgot. This is me forgetting. This is jumping around, but now you can also white out his snout fully white, but you leave some of that purple at the tip. Or again, you might not have purple there, whatever color you have there. Oops. And using white, you can reshape some of your mistakes or some issues you don't like. Just paint white right over top of them. Okay, and as we get to his neck, we're adding a little bit more water. Again, don't stress out if you're not at his neck yet. I kind of just have to go a little bit faster so then I can ask you guys questions while you work, um, or answer questions while you work. We want just a little bit more water on your brush now because you want it to be a little bit more translucent. And we're just gonna go down that neck in the same way, but kind of in a, in a bowed direction, if that makes sense. So we do a nice little U. Hey YouTube, don't get in here. And then you're just gonna keep doing that over top the one underneath, I mean, over top the one you just did, the one layer. It's just kind of important to, to curve in the direction of his little chin and face because that kind of adds more dimension. <laughs> if you do it just flat, our eyes will think it's flat, but if you follow the curve, it kind of tricks people to think that his neck is round. Does that make sense? Do, 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 do. Look who's late again. Random guy. No worries. At least you made it at all. That's all that matters. Again, don't treat it too precious because it is fur. Like, it shouldn't be laid out exact, exact, the same distance apart from the other ones. It's kind of a little bit crazy, so... You kind of want to be able to let go a little bit of controlling where each line goes. But see now, like, now there's just some, like, nice colors. Your llama looks like your bunny. <laughs> Sorry, what I was showing was just the nice colors throughout the white. So it kind of pushed the colors back a little bit. But it looks like your bunny. His eyelashes are literally going to change it, you guys. Here, I'm going to draw some eyelashes on one eye for you guys to see. Where's my little brush? That the eyelash placement on this llama is very important. And it'll be a different look than the bunny, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. So. You are going to, and if you're not at this part, it's okay. I'm gonna teach it slow and I'll come back. But um, we are going to paint literally white lines starting from like almost halfway in the middle and then we're just gonna draw let me look in close before i lead you astray yeah they just get longer as they go tell me that these long little white eyelashes don't make it look like a llama oh my god that llama i know right how funny is he I just kind of messed up that one eyelash. Shh, don't look at me for a second. <laughs> Ignore me. I painted it a little too thicky. Just let that chill for a second and I will show you how to do that again. <laughs> some white into his pupil there because it's probably not white for you guys anymore. And we just draw in some lines going from short to long in his little eyeball. And obviously I'm using a marker right there, I'm cheating. But if you um, mess up your lines, let them dry and then paint black in the middle and it'll thin them out. But right, don't his little eyelashes, aren't they so funny? <clears throat> okay. Oh 
Oh my gosh, I keep making his eyelashes so long, but that's cute. And again, if you don't like the shapes of things, you can use your whites to change out outlines. Or if like you think his nose is too big, you can bring the white down to cut it out. Like use it just like white out, you guys. I wasn't joking. And you can add a little white lines of hair in there if you'd like. So we're basically almost done our llamas, you guys. They are just about finitoed, except for his hair. We kind of got to go a little wild with outlines in the hair, or not outline, a couple of layers of color in the hair. But are we liking what our little llamas are looking like or what? Can we paint a sombrero? Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna paint a sombrero on this one, but here, I'll paint a sombrero on another canvas. Let me just do some eyes here. Not eyes, eyelashes. Again, you start from short, oops. And you get longer as the lines go. You want not too much water on your paintbrush when you do it because they, if you want white to be opaque, you don't want too much water. Water makes it more translucent. Okay. Let me Google what a little sombrero looks like so I don't lead you astray. But let me know what else, you guys, what other features you want to add. If you need help to paint something, I can do that now. Oh, yes, okay, I drew a sombrero right. I just didn't draw it long enough. Let me see. Okay, so the secret of the sombrero. Okay. It's gonna be a purple sombrero, but I brought this out to draw shapes. Oh yeah, don't worry guys, more hair's coming. So if you wanna keep going, if you're like at this spot, yeah, if you got yellow, let's add some yellow hair in there. You literally do exactly the same as what we're doing. Just start filling in all those shapes with different colors and you wait for that color to dry and then go in it again. So that's kind of how you fill it up. And then you can splatter those colors as we go. I'm gonna keep doing that, don't worry. I'm just gonna draw a little sombrero here. So the best way to start would be to find the head. Like if this is the head of your llama, let's just, just to make it easy, right? That's the head of your llama, right? Ah, oh, so cute. Llama, okay. Um, and you want to paint a little sombrero on them. The easiest way to do is to start with the line. So if you want to go right in between their ears, you do a little line. That's the base of your sombrero. And you come up on the sides in like a bowed line on both sides, up and out, up and out. Does that kind of make sense? And then you make the rim of your sombrero. It looks like it kind of bows up in the middle. It doesn't have to. And then you just make the tall, oops, part of it. And the most important part of the sombrero, you got to add the bedazzles on it. So it's kind of a little rough doodle, but does that make sense? You love llamas. Well, you came to the right place. Okay, so people are saying we got a weird snout. Some people think you put too much white. You liked him more before. Well, guess what? You can just go back over top the white that you just did and do exactly add more of those colors again. And uh, you'll get back there. It'll just be more layered and cute. Um, you wish you had glitter. Yeah, guys, glitter is a tough part. Uh, not a tough part, a fun part. I would suggest to put glitter in his little hair if you can. Um... Order some glitter on Amazon. I ordered my glitter on Amazon. And the dollar store is also a great place to get glitter. But for those of you who are new and don't um, know what we're talking about, uh, I usually glitter bomb all my paintings. <laughs> I just don't usually teach it in classes because I don't want people to be stressed that they don't have it. Um, but when your paint is wet and it's flat, you literally just pour glitter on the wet spots. Okay, easy, exactly. You missed the hair, like 
you do you mean like you want me to reteach the hair or what we say in because basically what I'll be doing right now is all you do for the hair if you want to do the hair some people don't want to do the hair your sombrero it could be yellow orange oh should I hold the sombrero oh that's too high for now. Oh my god. Okay, so look, some people requested yellow, so we're gonna put some yellow in the hair. And remember, you just kind of follow in the direction where you laid it out, just filling out some empty spots with the color. Um, and you can use any colors you want, as long as you place that. Like, some people did their hair just like tufts, like a little like puff tuff right here. And that's super cool too. But you make sure that you have a nice amount of paint on your brush, more paint than water, because you want it to be thick. Um, and it's just a little wrist movement as you put the paintbrush on your palette or your canvas. Just move your wrist left and right to make these little squiggle squiggles. Um, someone asked how long I've been painting for. Literally my entire life, as long as I can remember but full-time as a job for six years. I don't really have formal training in like painting. I just have done it for so long that you just kind of like figure stuff out as you go. Keep up the great streams. Uh, Noma, thank you. Noma last, Noma last. I'm really bad at pronouncing names. How's that crazy hair coming? Wow. And like in my, uh, stream in my whatever in the picture that I'm copying here it also I dripped some there's like little drips Beep. and you kind of do that with a little bit thicker than chocolatey milk chocolatey milk <laughs> you just fill up your brush and do a little splotch and look at that paint just drip Beep. I'm sure people appreciate your work <laughs> thanks I hope so. Look at that little line. Thanks, Daryl, for the prompts. Guys, while you're at it, why don't you splatter some yellow? That's fun. Oh, and I forgot to teach the, e the, the clean way today. If you want to splatter without getting your hands dirty, even though it's so much fun. <laughs> You can smack your paintbrush that has the splatter on it with another paintbrush. But I'm like literally feeling it get on me a little bit when you do that. But whatever you want. Okay. My music is failing me today. Where did I just close it? Okay, it's 10.44, and our llamas are basically, really basically complete, if you think about it. Um, let's take a peeky. If you want to see like other like tay tasty things I do in it, I like to make little circles. And this little, oops, well. I to literally just paint with a little paintbrush. Little circles. Yep. Of different colors. You can bounce back into your purple. Or like, look, like the blue. I didn't put any blue hair in there. What a sing. Let's put some blue. Do we do anything with the ears? Okay, so if your ears look unfinished. Oh, I didn't put white on them supposed to put white over top which I forgot um but if they look unfinished to you I would suggest bringing in one of the other colors that you have used throughout your little llama and bringing it oh I'm not doing that this second but like let's say like you take some pink and doing a couple more of those hair brush strokes in the bottom of the ear but if your ears look really weird let me know and we can uh I'll see what I did wrong there. I'm 
And some people are asking me, I see in my DMs, asking me to show how to paint the background black, but the only thing about that now is that you'll have to re-splatter everything because we'll have to go back over our splattered spots, which isn't the end of the world, but just know that that is a part of it. But if you want to paint your backgrounds black, I would just suggest starting by kind of coming closer to the edges first. You kind of make a thicker line close to the edge of your uh, llama, and then you can use a thick brush to kind of fill in the spots and come just up to that thick line that you made so you stop yourself from going over top your llama itself, if that makes sense. Um, another thing that we can add in there, since someone was asking about the ears, but before... Talking about the little tufts that I was talking about before. If you just add a couple more, see at the base of his ear. And then we didn't white out the rest of it. We add more white to the eyes so I they're basically big black voids which is really funny um the only white so you know how we did a black circle and then we drew a line on top and a line underneath and there was a little bit of space in the middle like the little white part of your eye I added a touch of white in those little corners is that kind of what you mean and you can do a little reflection on his eye with white if you want oops yeah, okay, cool. And same on this side too. You can do a little white reflection if you want, or like some people like to do little circles maybe instead would be cuter. Whatever, don't do a line and a circle, choose one. <laughs> Cause I just did both and it ruined, not ruined. It uh, didn't go well for me. There you go. Yeah. So the only reason I'm not gonna go straight to painting the whole black background black is because I don't want to stress people out since we did our um, splatter already but I will if your guys is once you put the colors or the white on top and you feel like your little llama isn't sticking out enough like maybe he's blending into the background too much maybe you should paint it back whatever what I would suggest is at least to give him a little outline if you think he's falling apart and the best way to do fluffy outlines is to, with that same small brush as we started before, you can just go down the side with black, if you want. This is just for people who don't want to paint a background, okay? Same with on his ear. You can, again, with wet paint, though. You don't want it to be too dry. You want to be able to control your brush really well. It's not like a black outline. It's more of those little strokes. But if you've realized at the start that the strokes stress you out, don't do it. Okay. Should I do a pull? Like, do you guys want me to paint a background? Do you want to paint a background? Let me know. Is that a group consensus? Did a lot of people like their llamas before they painted white on top? Because that's good to know. If you did. Oh, I was like, wow, what an eccentric song. It's an ad. You can add some black hairs in there if you want. Remember, black's powerful. You can take over a lot of spaces, so don't mix it in places you don't want. And don't mix it with wet paint unless you're ready to get a little bit of a muddy color. I personally think these swirly parts are the best. You did color again with less white and it's good. Okay, so maybe that's a PSA I should say. When I do the white layer, don't use too much white. 
Yeah, but if other people have that problem too, I'm just curious if uh, that's something I should make a mention about. Um, make a mention. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. Remember, guys, who, uh, guys, people who haven't been here before. The way to do those little spots, oops, um, not spots, but splatter spots. Remember, it's hard for me to teach it because I can't leave my canvas flat because I want you guys to be able to see, but, um, oh, I guess I can move the camera. <laughs> okay. So you can see in this one, like, there's also, like, not only just, like, flick splatter, but you can see little spots of splatter. Um, Rosie loved the hair. She's off to bed. Yay! Okay, I'll check my stories. I always share Rosie's stuff. Um, oh, you work at the children's cottage. That project holds a special place in my heart. Um, Rosie said tonight was a really fun paint night. I hope that that goes across to everybody. I hope you guys all feel the same too. Thank you, Telia, what, Telia Rousel? Is that how I say it? <laughs> Grandma says goodnight, love you, Rosie. Um, thank you. I love seeing kids in it, it's so fun. For you guys who don't know what she's talking about, if you head over to my Instagram in my IGTV, there's a little uh, time lapse of me painting that playroom for a very special organization here in Calgary that helps lots of families. Oh, such a special place. You're special for working there. Um, okay, so again, guys, we can be, she's basically done. If you guys are happy, you call her a day. If you wanna make more splatter, you wanna make more of these little, circles if you have any questions if you want me to teach you how to paint a bow tie or i don't know what else i don't know like look we can put some little swirlies Weep. Weep. oh my gosh donuts thanks karen guys i really appreciate the props 100 thanks Random guy, you don't paint, but really like watching me paint. Um, sir, you should paint. You can't say you, you should. I think you should. But I'm glad that you like to come and watch. That also makes me happy too. Um, okay, here, let me do a couple of those little splatters I was talking about. You do the same thing. You make a little bit thicker than chocolate milk though of a concoction. Oh my gosh, you guys, all the props. Thank you. Shower me with love down there. Okay, we make that watery, mixy concoction. And then I'll show you guys, I'm seeing llamas just flying into my, um, what you call it, DMs as we speak. Okay, so you're gonna load up a paintbrush. And I don't know, can you see how there's like a little bead of water forming at the bottom of that paintbrush? Water paint, whatever you wanna call it. We're literally gonna, beep, beep. It's not watery enough. When you hold your canvas flat, you're just gonna go like that and flick on some spots. You see how that works? And now since I have to hold it up straight, they're gonna drip down and make drippy spots, but maybe they'll hold, maybe they'll hold. We'll see. Okay, let's look at some, that's pretty cute, right? Oh my gosh, thanks, Valerie. Should we look at some other people's? No, no, sir. Okay, QT, look at that little crazy hair. I'm obsessed. Oh, there's a little yellow one. So cute. Oh my gosh, look at that hair. I love. Uh, let's see what else. Someone needs to do, oh, this one's got like a mullet. <laughs> this one, parties, if you ask me. Oh my gosh, I love the colors in that one. Okay, what do we got here? How's this one? Oh, that's, sorry. Oh my gosh, this one's got a bow tie and a cute, oh my gosh, this one? Breaks my heart because it's so cute. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, look at that one. Nice fur and texture. Beautiful, you guys. Let's see what else, what else, what else. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Love the background. Oh, there is a... Yours is washed out. How do you make them stand out? So I would just suggest popping either giving him a colored outline, coloring the background, or popping in some more color. So doing exactly that layer of where we did colors, maybe bring a couple more to the top. Just like uh, Grunge Mania down here did, just like Stacy did. Because remember, there's no mistakes. If you don't like the color you put on top, you can put a little bit more white and you're just kind of building up more uh, depth in him, which is super cute. Okay, what else we got here? Ah, hey, no problem. Like I said, I wanted you guys to do whatever you wanted. Look at that llama. That's great. He didn't need hair. Let's see if I can see Rosie's in here because sometimes she sends videos. Let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, look at her little crazy haired llama, you guys. So cute. So cute. Oh my gosh, obsessed. Okay, what else we got? Am I missing some of y'all? Oh my gosh, you guys. We've got the sunglasses. There you go, Justin. Julia added shades and I love its hair. Love the splatter. Oh yeah, see what I said guys? My drops all dripped into drop lines. So what can you do? Her llama's cute and so is Rosie. Oh, he doesn't look like a bunny. I feel like it's their eyes and nose. I feel like you can tell that it's a llama. Oh my, I love the crazy hair. Oh, this one's so pretty too. No problem. I'm glad you guys loved all this one. This one was fun for me too. Guys, the pole's in. We've got the bow tie on the bottom. Wow, that's a beautiful, majestic llama. Oh, thank you for all the props, you guys. <laughs> You're the best. Oh my gosh, I'm loving these llamas. Oh my god, we're back to the mullet one. Love it. Okay, I don't have any in my, let me see, my message requests again. Are there some llamas in here? Okay, I have to accept them on my phone. Sorry, here, let me see. Let me see. Someone's saying mine's the bad one. No, no. Let me see. Oh my gosh, there's a purple one that I missed. Sorry guys, if I, if you send me, if you're in my message requests, I always uh, miss on here. Let's see where, which one did I miss? Someone said mine's the bad one, but there's no bad one there. Oh, they're both cute. Who else are we missing? Ashley Jen. Oh, look at these nice splatters. See, look, it's so, I like think it's so cool when you see the base colored ones and then the difference when you add the white on top. It's just one of my favorite tricks. Oh, so cute. Adam and Stace, love it. Yes. There's so many cute colored ones. You guys made such great, oh my God, here's Dwight, you guys. Dwight, nice hair. Oh, love. Nice hair across all boards. Oh my god, I love them. Thanks, Lucas. Thanks for the props. Who else am I missing in here? I feel like there's another name. Look at that purple one that I missed. Love. Love, love. Lots of colors, yeah. I'm. That's what I wanted. I wanted people to have like a, like a freestyle fun time, and I hope you guys did. <laughs> freestyle fun, right? All right. Are we like? Is that? 
Are we all content with these like cutie little llamas? Again, if you didn't want to do the hair, don't worry about it. Don't do the hair. Thanks for another great paint night. No problem, you guys. Glad to hear you're enjoying this one too. Um, let me know. Um, if you find some paintings of mine that you want to try, send me a line. I don't have much things planned. I know what today we said. Sloth. What was the other one? <laughs> I'll just rewind the tape, so I'll check it later. Giraffe, yes. Blowfish, giraffe. Yes, 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 yes. Sloth. Pug. Sloth. Yeah, okay, okay. Right, guys, thanks. What would I do without you? Look at this funny little llama with the sombrero. That's like a nice part too. Thanks a llama lot. <laughs> Anything I liked that. <laughs> um, T-Rex, right, we wanna do the T-Rex too. Right, 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 that'll be added to the list. Appreciate the reminders on your stories, by the way, I thought today was Monday. Hey guys, sometimes I forget. So if you don't see me post about it, maybe you remind me. <laughs> but I'm glad that I catch you when I remember. Anytime. Tuesday, Thursday, I'll be back. Thursday, 8 p.m. MDT. You guys know. Uh, and I'll decide one of those three animals, four animals, I'll pick through and we'll paint that one on Thursday. And again, I kind of want to do like a plant or something at some point. Because plants are fun. And I think people like that too. So we'll do a plant as well. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Tasty Tulip. Yes, the cactus. We had a really successful cactus paint night on stream before I started recording them. So it'd be nice to be able to have one recorded and you guys can jump to on my YouTube channel anytime, which is a nice full transition into follow me on YouTube, follow me on Caffeine, Instagram. Instagram's my number one. Oh my God, I just gave you guys the finger back. So Instagram's my number one. Um, I post my daily life on there. You guys can contact me on there, see what I'm up to. Uh, yeah, as you guys see at the bottom, people are asking me about tips. Um, if you're watching live, you can get props on caffeine. Those are those things at the bottom. Those are ways that you can tip me. I can uh, collect those and cash those out at some point, which I should do. Um, people have an e-transferring me. Again, it's a free service. You're welcome to do it for free. Just I'm getting a lot of questions, so I will thought I'd answer again publicly. If you feel like tipping, that's, those are the options. We got e-transfer at taylorodinseed at gmail.com or props work. Uh, I just want it to be free and accessible to everybody. So no pressure there, you guys. I have the most fun during these two hours as well. Respect. Actually, thanks, Stacey. Um, prints too. If you guys want to pick up any prints, that's a great way of supporting me too. It's on my Etsy. Um which you can all find on my Instagram, which is the same, Taytayski. Google Taytayski and you'll find me all everywhere. So, thanks again for following along. Thanks for being so pumped, guys. Uh, Cause I'm pumped too. Picture of the people. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks for Tuesday art, anytime. Let's get ready for Thursday art. Thanks for helping me just like brand my name guys <laughs> so me and this cutie llama are out for the night <laughs> i'm so pumped to see all yours i'll be posting them on my stories thanks guys love you you're the best see you next time <laughs>